Today we're having lots of fun making our pork chop dish. My name is Chef Kevin Ho. We're here at Slate Restaurant and you're watching Restaurant Recipes. So these are not just our regular pork chops. These are 14 day dry aged Duroc pork chops from Peninsula Food right here in Orlando. Now what we've done here is we've taken them, we've sous vide them. So they're perfect 145 medium. And we're just gonna season them with some salt and pepper and then grill them. Now the reason we don't wanna do too much of them before, we really wanna showcase the dry aged flavor. We really wanna showcase the pork and then we really wanna showcase our oak fire. So we got some salt, we use diamond kosher salt, some fresh cracked pepper, and then we're gonna put it straight on the grill. And then we're gonna season it one more time. Now, because we've sous vide these already, we don't wanna cook them too long. We just wanna get some nice char on them, and then we're gonna take them off. In the meantime, while that pork is cooking, we have our little saute pan here. We can get a little oil. And we're gonna start sauteing off the side. So the side for the pork is gonna be some Swiss char, some guanciale, shallots and garlic. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna finish it with a little splash of vinegar. So we're gonna start with the guanciale and the onions. We're doing this right on the grill. We don't wanna to go too fast so the guanciale can really render out. Guanciale itself being a cured pork, somewhat similar to bacon, a little bit harder, I would like to say, um, but not smoked at all. Guanciale is a classic uh, starter ingredient in a carbonara. Once we get our nice diamond marks, we're gonna turn it up on its backside so that we can sear off the fat cap. You really wanna make sure you're searing the fat cap because it's a sous vide product and you really wanna get that nice Duroc pork fat flavor in there. And then we let that render down before we flip it on the other side and sear again. Now the guanciale starts to get there, you add your garlic. You never want to add your garlic all at the same time because it will definitely burn. And then some butter. Now we're just taking this so the garlic is nice and colored. Once the garlic is colored, we're going to add our Swiss char. So we blanch our Swiss char prior to putting it in the saute pan because we want to give a true amount of char. Usually it wilts a lot and it also gives a brighter color. Swiss char that we blanched. And last but not least, a little splash of champagne vinegar. Two, three, and then we're gonna move into dressing our salad. So this uh, dish has uh, two greens components. So we have a little bit of mixed radicchio on here. And then we have a little mixed greens. We just want to season all of our things with some salt and pepper. And then we have a coconut dressing that's going to go right over the top. All right, now we can move into plating. We have char. And then we're going to have our plantain foam. And then we have our, our leaves with our coconut dressing. And that is our pork chop. 14 day dry aged do rock pork chop. Beautiful. Thank you so much for cooking with us here today at Slate. Hope you love all the things we've done here. Hope this makes your food a lot better and you put that sexy on our food just like we do. Mm -hmm.